what is good everybody welcome back to another video i hope you guys are having an amazing day today i am going to be doing a let's build and i will be showing you guys how to take a build just a random build and turn it into a hub now if you don't know what a hub is or people call it a lobby it is basically the world or land that you spawn in for servers more than two servers for example bcs has three servers at the moment they have towns plot world and creative and even a competition world so you guys get the point that's what a hub is and i'm going to be making a very simple one out of a build i already have now behind me right now is drakenberg castle one of my favorite builds that i built about a year ago a little more than a year ago and i'll be converting this big building into a hub while part of it now when i came up with this idea basically a few weeks ago i, w I came on here and i was actually trying to find my hub before they built out of this castle if you don't know, BCS months ago had a hub that came from this castle that I built a long time ago that Builds actually commissioned me to make. Well, apparently it disappeared. I have no idea where it is. I tried to get it, so we're going to rebuild it, and I'll rebuild it with you guys right now. So without further ado, let's begin. Alright, so I want to try to make this video as short as possible. I never like long ones. It's probably going to be pretty lengthy, so if you guys want to just skip around, you can. But I'm just going to take this build in the part that I need, and I need to transfer it to a more flat area so i'm just going to do that now i have no idea where the original version of this was so i'm just going to rebuild a new version but i do have a prototype somewhere in the flat world which is where we're going right now so i'm just going to take the second position also when i did build the previous hub of this i actually had a, just a flat version of this because i did not build it on this land with all the landscaping around so we're just going to copy this right here gonna take a while there we go and now I am gonna go to flat work all right so just to give you guys a little insight on what we're gonna be working with this is actually the prototype to the actual hub now I actually made a real version like I said that was actually used in BCS we have a new hub now so I have no idea what the other one went I had an original version but this is what it's going to look like basically in the end just more detailed now the reason why I'm just not gonna use this one is because well, number one uh, the world that is screwed up, as you can see over here, I don't want to, you know, I kind of want to redo it so it doesn't end up looking like that. Also, uh, when I did do this prototype, basically there was a glitch where sandstone stairs and stuff got glitched out, as you can see over here. But this is just what, you know, it's basically is going to look like. Also, one thing that you could take note of is that you could do this with basic, basically any build. So you have like a random castle lying around and you own a server, you want to turn it into a hub. You just, you know, use world edit and turn something into something like this. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to start and make our own hub right now. Alright, so I pasted this into a flat area of this flat world right now. And I did kind of get rid of this beforehand. But what we're going to do actually is get rid of anything that we don't need. So like you saw before, I don't need this extension tower off. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to take this, set one position and set the other one and my skype just went off just heard that and set zero that should get rid of everything that we don't need and i'm actually going to set this to grass just to make it look more you know a little clean now if you see anything in the background that's just uh you know random stuff that we don't need to actually consider in this video this used to be like where i used to work on a lot of my projects including drakenberg itself I actually built the entire structure in this same world and then I just transferred it over. That's why it's going to be a little hard now to get rid of some stuff here. But as you can see, I'm just going to clean everything up. It doesn't matter if I cut anything off. See, I think that's basically it. We need to get rid of the back as well. Just We want to get rid of as much as we can because I will be doing a lot of intensive world edit. Not that much intensive world edit. It's going to be a pretty good amount of simple world edit. but. Everything that you'll need to know if you want to become a builder. But I think that is basically it. Looks about right. So it's time to actually start cutting things and start, you know, moving things around. So we're going to be... Alright, so we basically got the cream of the crop here. We got rid of everything that we don't... Well, pretty much everything we don't need. Now we need to actually tinker with the structure. We've got to tinker with some parts of this. Now, if you saw before, I didn't need anything on this side and anything on the left of this uh dome building over here so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to take half of this side and just copy over it 
without even getting rid of anything on that side. Well, it will in the end, so just gotta find the middle of this, which is about right here. Take position one, go right in the back. Now, a good thing about hubs is that usually they're in a closed area, so anything behind that really won't be seen. Well, it shouldn't be seen, and in, you know, in a real hub situation, it won't be seen, so that's good. So we're just gonna copy, flip right, paste it. Now, we don't wanna do paste negative A, because things will just get mixed up, so we're just gonna do paste. What is this over here? So I think it's a tree pack over there. Probably have to get rid of that later. But as you can see, we got the two parts over here. Now, we're gonna wanna move on to other things, such as rotating it in a you know fixed axis so let's do that alrighty so I went back to original Drakenberg just got these pads over here kinda need them and I also moved this tree pack over here which is still kinda loading all the way over there so now what we wanna do is we wanna make this all four sides surrounded with you know a center over here where the spawn point is going to be so at first I kinda wanted like I, I thought I could just you know rotate on a fixed axis but what we're gonna need to do because I, I do not know the length of this, I don't want to, you know, go through some extra steps. I'm just gonna take the whole thing and copy and paste it, rotate it on a certain corner. So you guys are gonna see what I'm gonna do in a moment. I'm just gonna take the whole thing of this, which is a lot of blocks, 510, oh, 51 million. Well, that's with air. So now I got this here, got everything copied. I'm gonna want to copy it on this corner. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to copy it, wait for it to copy actually, I'm just going to do that again, I think I jumped. Yeah, the, when I do world, when you do large world edit on the server, it kind of lags out a little bit, so you know you don't want to do too much. Alright, so now that I have that, I'm going to want to rotate it 90. Well, we're going to see if it's 90, hopefully it's not. I'm just going to paste it right here. Paste, let's do negative A, just be careful. And as you can see, I screwed up. So, yeah, I'm going to do that again. Undo. I think it's 180. So, whoops. Rotate 180. And let's take a look here. See if it works. Sometimes it's just like a lot of trial and error. Okay. Okay. Let's take a look here. And we got our corner. So now we have two corners. We just need to get the other corner. So I need. I just need to rotate it another. I think it's negative ninety. I believe. Hold on. Let's take a look here. It's a lot of rotation. Let's see what happens when we do this. And paste it just like that. And I feel a little lag coming. But I think that is a success. And right now we are almost full size. So now what you can just basically do at this point, you could just, you know, copy this half and the other side, but I'm just thinking I'm just gonna I already have the commands in my history, so rotate 90 and paste negative A and you got your full and I gotta turn Skype off, it's kinda be annoying but yep, we got our full sort of hub here, as you can see now, what traditional hubs usually do, you know, our hub and our, the way our entire lobby is wired is you have a menu and stuff like that. That's how newer hubs are. Usually hubs have portals, so we're going to need to build those just for, you know, versatility. Use for all people. And we're going to do that, but as you can see, everything is complete. And we're just going to work within the box now. Alright, so I set this uh, the floor to stone right now. So we got we got a full thing to work with right now. Now, a good thing about these, like, hubs here is that they're easier than, like, other hubs such as... The one that I built for walk for the competition. Uh, it's easier because basically you got four sides. So all you need to do is just some easy world edit. But it still looks good. So that's good. But there are some things that you might want to consider while designing these things. You know, some, some of these things that you might want to consider are, you know, accessibility. The way to get from, you know, to the portal and the spawn point. The distance, you know, you have to travel. You know, you don't want to, like, run far. I know that the walk hub before that we use as a substitution was not easy, well, it wasn't easy, well, it wasn't hard, but it took a pretty amount, a good amount of time to run from the spawn point to the portal, but here, it looks like we got a finite amount of space to work with, so that's good. Now, I'm thinking, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna, I'm gonna design this just like the old hub, 
where I had something in the middle right here but I also had some areas where you could put extra stuff whoever is going to use this hub soon because I will probably be selling this thing on probably schematic market or something like that chunk factory maybe but yeah I'm just gonna design it like I did before so I'm gonna get to a corner and start doing that okay so I marked some few things out here I just started building a little progress over here but I just want to talk to you guys about what the game plan is right now so as you can see I lined this out this is a, you know very much different than it was before with the original hub that I built it's more curvy it's got this cool blob look in here now what's gonna go outside this line that I made of stone is just a bunch of vegetation and stuff I really like to add a lot of contrast to these kind of things just to add a little more lively sort of vibe here and right now everything seems a little more bland without you know with stone on the ground with no sort of plants so I'm gonna add the vegetation later but I gotta build you know the groundwork for that now I made this big T out of red wool right here this is very important very simple yet very important this is going to be the spawn point and I'm not, I'm not actually yet figured out what the spawn point is actually going to be well be designed like I assume it's probably just gonna be like a circle that's what I think in my head hopefully it's gonna turn out like that and it won't take that long but I think what we're gonna do right here is gonna take longer now the spawn point always has to be in the center well you know it doesn't have to be but it would be nice to have it there because it'll be equidistant to all the portals around here so we're gonna add the portals somewhere I'm not sure yet probably in this area over here not sure we're gonna find out later what we're gonna work on right now is over here this entire area so we're actually gonna start doing some real work and begin. all right so I already raised the thing over here the wall over here and I'll, this will this will probably be a very big garden with some uh, small trees around here don't want any big trees but we need to find a way to get up here so I think I'm just gonna make a diagonal staircase I hate diagonals if you know me I really hate diagonals but here we go we got diagonal staircase it's just be a little bigger than that just like that all right so we're yeah okay hold on right here I already made these sort of like little I don't know I don't know what you call these things little just designs here just to add a little more effect but what we're gonna do first of all I'm gonna get some cobblestone stairs I just actually need to complete that I pasted it before it's kind of messed up I'm just gonna add a little trim here just to make it well just to, like make a little overhang so like it doesn't like connect the textures when I add the rails now here I'm going to add cobblestone slabs now I never actually specified this and it probably doesn't even matter it's probably relevant but I'm just gonna say it anyways uh, the version I'm gonna do this in is probably like I don't know 1.8 plus it's got some red sandstone uh, I'm not really familiar with what the versions is I'm going to get rid of those those uh, end rods because uh, that's not 1.8 so first thing I need to do is make the stairway up I'm not sure yet I'll just add like this here so I, I hate these diagonal staircases so I think it'll make it let me just check mm. okay hold on I'll make it work Let's see add the staircase like that okay so it's gonna be one of those kind of staircases or just it's not that spread out but it'll work okay all right so yeah I guess that works and then I'm just gonna build it up I might speed it up I don't like to you know hang on like some small details like this we have larger things to do all right And we are complete with the stairs. That's good. Actually, I'm going to raise this by one more block as well. Just because i got to make a nice guardrail here. Alright. Actually, that works actually a little better than I thought. Because now what we could do is... First thing I want to do, fill this in. Using my favorite command of all. Slash slash fill. Three, one, which is coarse dirt. Actually, no, I don't think I'm going to want coarse dirt because... Eh, we'll keep it for now. I'm going to want a lot of vegetation going on here. 
So now we have your little garden area. So now what I gotta do is add the rails, of course. Which is just going to be it's just gonna look like this. Very simple. Now when I said it worked out, because now the guardrails before are on level with the stairs from before, which is good. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Now we are working on kind of a diagonal axis, so what I do over here, I do over here by hand because it is kind of hard to do that, you know, copy and paste stuff. So now you got your little garden area, pretty nice. I'll add trees later, but let's see what can we do with this area? Not really much. I'm gonna say I'm actually gonna actually turn this into grass, and the reason why is because I'm gonna add some vegetation. So. See, I think that's three one hundred. Well, it's only one way to find out. I need my bone meal. Let's see, this coarse dirt. It should be dirt. I don't know why it's. That don't work on grass. Hold on. Yeah, I guess it only works on grass. I guess I'll fill it with grass. Okay, undo. Two, one hundred. There we go. Now we got grass. Looks a bit greener already. So now I'm gonna do. I'm gonna decorate this entire area because you don't need to see me doing that. So I'm gonna grab a few trees and then we're gonna, you know, see what that goes on from there. All right. So I went ahead and decorated this entire area. I skipped ahead a little bit, you know, because like the last twenty minutes of working on this was just me copying and pasting. I'm sure you guys didn't want to sit through that, so I just cut it out. Now I put all these trees here, I actually went to my private tree repository, got all these trees over here, props to my friend JP, he made all these trees, really talented tree builder as you can see, and we put them all over here, add a little life. Now one thing that, you know, a little tip here is that if you want to really visualize and you have trouble visualizing how the end product will be of this hub, you know, just, you know, take this thing and just copy and paste it to the entire hub, so that's what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to copy entire area I'm just gonna just take my wand right there and take a look at how that is once I'm done with that I'm actually gonna go work on the portal area so I just gotta rotate 90 paste negative a and just keep doing that until it is all around Okay, now it's got to load in. As you see, you got your area. Now this sort of area, I had the cool idea of actually like surrounding the tree part in its own little level, as well as keeping this area open. Now, I like to keep this area open for many reasons. One reason is to, number one, you know, pretty nice area to hang out here. Pretty good view of the rest of the place. And number two, uh, maybe, you know, there might be info boards or like, you know, cosmetics that you can put in here. I like to make my spawns very customizable, not for, you know, just one type of server or one network of servers. I like to keep it very, you know, versatile, so we got that done. Now what we've got to do next is we've got to do the same thing over here, but all over here, like in this sort of blob area. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to level this up about, I think this was two blocks over here, yeah. Well, technically it was three blocks, so I'm going to do that. Only going to do it to one side because, you know, I'm just going to copy it. Unlike the other part over here, this is not on a diagonal axis, even though it is still curved. I want to make sure I don't hit into anything else. Stack one up. There we go. Stack one up. Just like that. Now, I'm not sure yet, but I might put a secondary sort of layer of... Actually, I am going to do that. But how am I going to do that? I'll find out later. First, I'm going to work on this. So, I'm just going to add the trim here. I wonder what's in there. Oh, it's that thing. I'm not sure what that is. But I got to get rid of it later. Got to get rid of all the red rods. Yeah. It starts to go like that. And then just like that again. That's how curves work. Okay. So, eventually, I'll have to find a way to get up to the portal, which I'll probably build in later. It's going to be some work. Let's see. Pose one. It's 
going to copy and paste it just to see what it looks like. Copy, flip, right, turn caps lock off, paste, 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 yeah, I'm just going to paste. Always debating whether to do paste or paste negative A. Okay, so this side, I'm just going to add, like, I'm not going to add one of those things over there. Okay, he wants to see what I'm doing. Unfortunately, I don't think he has access to this world. We'll see what happens. Let's see. And he gets bounced back. Yep. Doesn't have access. Alright. So, yeah. Apparently, Flat World, the place I'm working on right now, has a few bugs, according to our developer. Which means that this place will have to be deleted eventually. So, we're going to try to work on this hub. Get transferred somewhere else. But, it's all good. Now... He, according to our developer, he said that there are a bunch of chunk errors around here, corrupted chunks. Now, whether that's true, I'm not sure. I did see a bunch of ch like you know, random chunks laying around of like terrain, but it might have to deal with how my other hub got lost. I'm not sure. Just one day, you know, randomly disappeared. But this one is looking ten times better, as you can see. All right, so we got our guard kind of thing here. Don't know what to call it. Just guard rail. I'm gonna add a few more details. Let me get slab. There we go. And I think, um, yeah, I'll just copy and paste it. I think I'm gonna work on the stairway just now. You know, just whoops. Okay, that's my one. All right. It's gonna copy, flip right, paste. Wait, I didn't flip it. Right, paste. There we go. Alright, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do what I did over there. Except, I think this is going to all be a bunch of trees and stuff, so... I think I could sift through all my commands and find it, if I can. Let me see. Let's see, it should be like a big number. That's not it, that was my one before. Nope, nope. Let's see, is that it? Nope. No, that's not it. Yeah, it's not it. Okay, fill. Uh, 35 brown. I don't know what the ID for brown is. 159 brown. 5, 5. Uh, 5, 5. And 3, 1. Okay. And I forgot the radius. Let's go for 100 now. Okay, there we go. That is the same ID. I was looking for the command over here, by the way. Okay, so now that we've got that done, I'm just going to turn that into stone. Looks a bit awkward like that. Actually, on, whoops, stairs. I am just going to go do that. There we go. Problem solved. Hey, that looks pretty nice. Okay. So, got some choices here. I could either just cover this up and make a portal over here. Or I could turn this into the portal. I kind of like this window, though. Now, yeah, I'll just turn it into the portal. Okay, so, what I need to do is I need to find a way to get up here. So, I'm going to make it nice and wide. I want to have it very nice and accessible just like that on both sides it's gonna be like a very awkward kind of place staircase it's gonna work though and that's all that matters okay now don't need anything over here set zero now the original design I had for this never had portals because like I said before BCS never actually used portals we used like some sort of other like kind of command kind of thing it's usually like, it's like high pixel where they had like a compass, you just pick it. But I think that's what a lot of servers are using nowadays, I'm not sure. But, you know, portals are good. I'm pretty sure Walk still uses portals, but they also have a creative command as well. Let's see, okay. It's 12, Let's stack 12. Hey, this acts a really nice helpful tool, it's got everything you need. Alright. So now you got your stairway. We gotta build our portal. How are we gonna do that? Okay, so first for starters, we gotta actually gotta bring this back. Just a little bit. So there's sort of a step up. I think I'm just gonna build, you know, an arc out of this whole thing. So let's see red sandstone. I never liked the look of red sandstone. I liked it in flows, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So here we go. I'm just going to bring it all the way up. And what I'm actually going to do is 
I'm actually gonna get rid of this over here. I'm gonna get rid of the window. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to well first I'm actually going to get rid of yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of the first layer of windows. And then you're gonna see what I'm going to do. So now I'm just gonna turn that into red sandstone. Actually I think jungle might look good behind it. Set five, three. Yeah, it doesn't look that bad. Okay. So now I just gotta get rid of that. Set zero. Actually, I am gonna make a sand red sandstone. Let's see, 179. Now I knew. I know there's an all-around red sandstone ID. I can't think of it off to my top of my head. But yeah, these, some of these IDs are really important to know. Okay, so we are almost ready. Okay. So this is going to be the basis of our portal, actually. Hmm. Okay, that looks it looks cool, but I can't keep it, unfortunately. Set zero. All right, that's going to be the basis of our portal right here. That's going to look real nice. All right. Now what I'm going to do? I need. I'm going to make an arch because that's what's cool about Romanist. Okay. Slab. Yeah, this is way better than flows. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Gotta make that steeper. There we go. Now we have a sort of a pretty gradual slope. And where's the center of that? It's right there. And I'm lazy right now, so I'm just going to copy, copy, flip, right, paste, there we go. And you got your arch, pretty nice looking arch. I'm going to make it a little more aesthetically pleasing. Add a trim on both sides, just like that. Yeah, I'm going to make it, yeah, I'll do that. That looks cool. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add this existing shroom first I'm just gonna do that just to fill it up gotta finish where I start and just like that so now it's just gonna go all the way up to about here same thing down there I might have a goose insignia over there I'm not sure yet goose statue that I do in my builds there we go just like that that looks cool alright so now we got the basis of the portal I can actually bring this down now Okay, set zero. Oh, that's not gonna look good. Uh, now the way this is gonna work, let's see if we can find the ID. I think it's 90, I'm not sure, but set 90, please be it. Yes, yes, it is. Okay, so that's what the portal is gonna look like. Uh, whether I should keep that, I'm not sure because uh, the portal might be different material. I'm gonna set zero, they can do whatever they want with it. This is not my hub. Okay. So this is 179.2. Set 179.2. By the way, if you want to, if you don't like, if you don't remember any IDs, good way to do this is you take F3 plus H, I believe, and it'll show you all the IDs like this over here. Really cool trick that I learned, and it's pretty amazing. Okay. So now I want to clean this area up a little bit. I'm just gonna keep it like that. It looks cool like that. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so now we have this. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna turn this into glowstone. Now we got an effect. That looks cool. Alright. Now I'm just gonna make this a little more smooth. Set 43, 8. So I'm going to do that over here as well. Just to make it the same pattern. Okay. And when you got your portal here, that is probably one of the most crucial components of this entire 
hub and we got it so now what we're gonna do is gonna put some trees in and that's probably gonna take 10 minutes to copy and paste so I'm gonna do that real quick and be right back okay I went through the effort and I did everything here I even allowed those two you know two statues over here this place already looks like an upgrade from the last version looks pretty neat now what I'm going to do is well I already copied and rotated everything did that before make the centerpiece I'm gonna make the centerpiece now so I want it to be really grand looking also accessible for our area as well so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make 98 70 well that's going to be first is the we call this oh the material and the radius so we're just gonna do that now this is a pretty good pretty good centerpiece circle here I might want to make it a little bigger though and this is gonna be the outer circles it's gonna be smaller circles everywhere as well uh, I'm gonna try 23 hmm yeah that's a pretty good number okay so now I'm gonna make the inner circle which is probably going to be I'd say 15 that is good now what's gonna be in between this is a bunch of vegetation of course and you know stuff like that inner circle is probably gonna be more stuff we're gonna find out later inner circle is probably not gonna be actually as much as the outer circle so we're just gonna keep stacking this up to about here yeah that seems good okay so now we're gonna actually go back to the second one and put a secondary one there okay good now we got your center circle now what we gotta do this is gonna be vegetation so let's see how we can do this what I think I'm gonna do is actually hmm, I think I'm gonna go block under first of all let me just get rid of this red wool don't need this anymore this is just sort of a guideline okay so you can find the commands all the way it's a lot of copy and pasting Let's see if I find it please do not okay yeah, this is a lot of it there we go this time I was lucky I got it all right so now we got that done we got our sort of dirt pullet actually no, I'm gonna do it again uh do I want it like that? Mm, nah, I'm not gonna have it like that. What I'm actually going to do, and this is actually gonna, let's see, this is gonna test if I'm able to do this. Okay, what is this? It's 44.3, so replace 9.98 with 44.3. Oh, I did the other sides too. I cannot be doing that. Okay. There we go. And. Please work, please work, please work. And I know that part got screwed up, so I've got to fix that. Actually, how am I going to do that? Oh, I'll just do this. I'll just redo the circle. HCYL. I think that was 15. There we go. Now it's working. Oh, okay. I got the bottom layer too. Got to fix that immediately. Okay, replace. 44.3 with 98 and it works okay we got the basis to our center circle now of course I'll tell you, I'm telling you guys right now I'm probably going to leave the part where I decorate the outside what we really want to focus on is the inside because this is where you know it's going to happen so first thing I want to do is make a trim and I'm going to work on one quarter so you know I don't want to stand I don't want to be making this video forever I feel like it's gone long enough so we got our trim oh wait no no trim over there that's where it's gonna it's not over here either okay so now what I want to do I'm actually gonna make this open up like that yeah that looks nice all right actually I think it's gonna be a little bigger cuz okay let's see how that works okay Yeah, that'll work. All right. Now we're just make this step down, just like that. Set forty three nine. There we go. Oh wait, that's that's sandstone. Forty three eight, just like that. I'm gonna copy and flip this right now, real quick. 
Okay. Copy, flip, right, paste. And we got it. Okay. Now I also want a staircase this way so people can get out over here as well. Just to make things a little easier. Just remember, always got to work on accessibility. Okay, so this is going to be diagonal. So it's just going to go like that. I think I'll make that a little smaller, just like that, just to make it easier. There we go. I think that is good. Wait a second. Oh, wait. Hold on. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Let's see how that looks. Da -da -da. This is looking like a real mess, actually. Uh, did that work out? That pretty much that that worked out. All right, we're keeping it like that. And I'm just gonna raise that, just like that. Okay, we're already starting, starting to do this. I'll be real. Uh, I really hate this part, actually. I don't know why, but I think it's probably the most tedious part. Even though other, I, you guys probably find other parts more tedious all right so we got this kind of quarter actually what I'm gonna do is gonna take this close to and just copy and rotate it copy rotate 90 90 all right oh wait hold on I didn't even do paste oh my gosh okay copy rotate 90 Paste negative A. That's enough. Okay. Now I want to get these two parts over, so I'm just going to flip that because I don't want to feel like dealing with diagonals. Whoops. Unknown command. Close two. All right. Copy, flip, right, paste. Please work. Please work. Yes. Okay. We got, your, we got our center point now. Now I did have a gazebo in Gold Ridge that I might want to use for this. I didn't have that in the beginning in the other hub kind of thing. All right, so this debating on whether having like a fancy design. Oh, I shouldn't really have one. I'm just gonna make it mm, fill. Let's see, what we're gonna have uh one, one three, one. Let's see one three. Actually, I'm gonna make that one five. One six and this, this big, let's keep it like that. Hundred. There we go. We got our spawn circle sort of there. I'm gonna make these guardrails out of cobble this time. Oh, wait, hold on, that's on the trim. Okay, just like that, and then. It'll go like that. Okay, so the guard rules aren't actually that small. That's, that's a good thing. Whoops. Okay. And then it'll just go like that. Wait, hold on. What's different from... Oh, wait. Did I... What's going on here? Did I do something wrong? I might have done something wrong. Hold on. Alright, so I figured out the problem, and it turns out that I off-centered the entire diagonal staircase. That's why I hate diagonals. There's always, there's always a problem with something. But basically, got everything we need here. Fixed everything. I just need to do this for a second. Uh, but I actually found the gazebo that I needed for the from Gold Ridge for the centerpiece. Hold on. Okay, yeah, I know what I did wrong. Okay. Just gotta add that. Uh... Some cobblestone here. Don't need to go too much in detail. Just gotta add some simple stuff. Okay, and I also had to gotta fix this up for. You know, just this is for reference. Okay, so now we got the centerpiece. Now I'm gonna add the gazebo, which I already copy and pasted, so we don't have to go over there. Just like that. Hold on, did I? Oh, I uh. Okay, now we're good. Oh, I did. I cut something off. Okay. Uh. Yeah, okay. Just gonna take this part over here, whatever random part this is. 
copy, rotate 90, paste. I'm just gonna do it just for confirmation. All right, so that's just sitting in the middle. I kind of like it like that. It, it looks a bit different, but I kind of like it like that. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna open this up a little more, so because it does kind of look closed. Okay. Move four up. Is that too high? I'll make that work. Actually, you know what? I'll move it two up. Maybe three up. Move. Ah. Three up. Just like that. All right. Now, all I gotta do is just add the extension parts. Just so when you spawn in, you don't look like you're like in some sort of small little box. And I'm just gonna add this little exterior kind of looking part, red. And just for a little accent. I always wanna add a little accent. Oh, hold on. There we go. Okay, that looks a little awkward, but I think I think that's a keeper. All right. So now what I gotta do is I'm going to have to decorate this entire area, put some trees around it, add some stuff, and we'll be ready to go. So I'm just gonna do that in like two seconds. Okay, so everything is pretty much finished. I did everything I need to do. Left, you know, added these trees here. Everything looks good. Should look good. Other than that. You know, that's pretty much it. You know, this place looks pretty beautiful. It definitely looks better than what, it, you know, the earlier version did. Ten times better, you know, Drakenberg Hub 2.0. Looks pretty nice. I just had to add a few more things in the back. Other than that, we're pretty good. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, then be sure to check out my other videos that I got. You know, pretty informative. And, you know, if you didn't make it through, then good for you. Congratulations. Other than that, I hope to see you guys next time. Now, one thing is, before I end this video, if you are looking for a hub or something like that, this will be on sale at Schematic Store. I'll leave a link when I leave it out, but I still gotta get a render artist to check this place out. So, you know, I'm still waiting to release this soon. Other than that, I'll see you guys later.